nothing like relationship. That's right. There's nothing like knowing God for yourself. I've always listened to the testimonies of others and always listened to the testimonies of my grandmother, mm -hmm. my mother, my father, and how God had brought them out. But once you go through something with God for yourself, you can't tell me nothing about him. You can't tell me nothing else about him because I know him for myself. Relationship is when you take time to know somebody. Yeah. You just don't jump into anything and, and, and become committed to anything without taking the time to really study that person or study and understand who that person is. Relationship is very, very important. I'd rather have a relationship with God than just have religion. Religion is just me coming to church. It's just me coming to the experience. It's me feeling a certain way just on Sunday or just on Tuesday. Religion is just me, oh, let me take my position. Let me come to see, sit and let my pastor see me in position so she won't be fussing or he won't be fussing. Mm -hmm. That's religion. That's right. But relationship is, if I never make it to the house of God, yeah. if I never make it to church, I know God and I know he speaks to me. That's a relationship. Relationship has to always be two-way communicated. It has to be him speaking to me and I'm speaking to him. Yeah. That's relationship. And there's so much there's so much heaviness yeah. in a relationship more than it is in just religion. Because you know, like growing up for me, I was in the church all my life, but mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't become saved until I was thirteen. Mm -hmm. All right. I only came to church because my mama mm -hmm. made me. Mm -hmm. You know, I was that young that young girl coming to church with my friends before we had the iPads yeah. and the, you know, the, the iPhones mm -hmm. and all these different mm -hmm. gadgets. I was the one in the back of the church with the Word Up magazine. Yeah. And I was the one, mm -hmm. you know, going to church to socialize and stuff. But it wasn't until I was 13 and my mom was an evangelist, mm -hmm. you know. I, I, didn't, I didn't get to know who the Lord was for myself. Mm -hmm. And a lot of young people right now, that I believe that they're in the church you know, and they're going through the motions. They're like, well, it's a religion. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just doing my good deed. But they don't really know mm -hmm. that you need a relationship, need a relationship. with God. Absolutely. So what are, your, what, what are your thoughts on, for those young people that are out there, you know, that are feeling, well, you know, I, I'm doing my good deed. I'm coming to church, mm -hmm. you know. I'm a part of ministry. I might be a part of the choir, mm -hmm. the step team, the dance mm -hmm. team. I might even be an usher, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but what would you say to them? Uh, it, it, it concerning their need for a relationship? The one thing that I would say to young people all across this nation is in order for you to ever have a relationship with somebody, you got to communicate with them. And if you're yearning for a relationship with God, I promise you that Jesus is the best thing that could ever happen to you. Jesus is the... I, I come to know for myself, friends will leave you at the drop of a hat. Mm -hmm. People will walk out of your life. They love you today, and they can't stand you tomorrow. That's right. They'll 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 say they're in your corner. They'll, you'll call them, and they'll look at your number on the cell phone and decline the call. That's right. You'll send them a text message, and they will never respond. That's right. But I promise you, once you get a relationship with God, and you come to Him just as you are, I'm real with God. I don't know about nobody else, but I'm real. Preaching, prophesying, singing all over this country, doing whatever I'm doing. I'm still real with him because I know he's the only one that knows the real me. That's right. He knows the inside of me. So I can talk to him. And the only way you can ever develop a real relationship with God is through communicating with him. Amen. And just telling him, just coming to him, just as you are. And that's the thing about it. We think we have to have it together before we can come to God. No, you don't have to have nothing together. All you have to do is talk to him. Yeah. Open up your mouth and speak to him. And he'll speak back. I promise you he'll talk to you. All right. He will. Amen. Now, after this break, because we need to have to take a commercial break, mm -hmm. when we come back, you know, I know you have a CD that's out yes, right I now. Do. All right. And we're going to be talking about that. So, so when we come back from this commercial break, we're going to be talking about Pastor Powell's CD that is out right now, Recover. Yes. yes. So after this break.
so happy. I listen. This this interview is awesome. Yes. I, now I understand yes. a little bit more what religion versus mm -hmm. relationship mm -hmm. is. But now I really want to get down to because now I know you a singer. <laughs> all right, you just don't yeah, sing, you sing. Singer. All right, yeah, you it's sing, all up in you your DNA. It's all up in you your DNA. Too, don't try. I, nah, I, ain't, don't I don't sing like you. You a singer just like I'm a singer. <laughs> but right now I know you have an album out. Mm -hmm. Right, it's yes. called Recover. Recover. And I know I got the single mm -hmm. for myself, all right, because you came to my mm -hmm. church and sang it. And it's floating all around yes. the whole tri-state. Yes. Everybody, listen, it is an awesome song. Yes. Now I want you to tell us a little bit about why did you name the CD Recover? Mm -hmm. You know, what was the whole birthing yeah, I mean, process of all of that? Because I know a lot of work goes into that. Yes. Um, there was a period of transition that we had went through um, where we had lost a lot. Yeah. We lost a lot. Physically, uh, spiritually, it was, it was. Have you ever been in a place where it seemed like you get out of one thing, mm -hmm. but then there's something else right around the corner? We mm -hmm. were in that consistent cycle. Wow. You know, that my whole family, and not only my family, but those that were connected to me. A lot of people started getting sick, and it just. I just started seeing a whole lot, and I prayed. I said, God, give me a song. And I was in my car one day, and I was like, God, why did you put pull me through this? Why, you know. I was looking for some type of relief. Mm -hmm. And the Lord spoke to me and gave me these words and said, you will recover. Wow. You won't stay like this forever. Wow. And I began to hear the Lord speak to me. And while he was speaking these, the words to me, I started writing the song. Mm -hmm. And as I wrote the song and I ran over to my friend Antoine's house and we went over there and he just began to play. I said, I got this melody. And he just began to play it. And recover was birthed. Recover was birthed out of needing to hear a word from God. Wow. And I promise you, in the midst of all that you're going through, mm -hmm. all you need is one word from God. Amen. And one word will settle everything. I, I, I'm here to tell you. It'll settle everything that you've been going through. And the Lord said, recover. And I thought that recover, I thought that wilderness was a, a, a state of mind. I thought yeah. that the wilderness experience was just somewhere you go through just to go through. Mm -hmm. But I come to understand that it was a process. God had to take me through this process to birth this out of me. Yeah. So that other people can be saved and delivered yeah. and blessed by this ministry. Recover is... It's, it's hitting all over this. It's, it's really going all over the world. Yeah. People are hearing this song and they're being blessed by it. We had an opportunity to minister somewhere out in the city. And this lady came to me. She said, thank you for writing this song. My mother was in the last stages of cancer. Wow. And they played this song for her. My mother's recovering from cancer. So God is really doing some great things. People were in comas. And they played the song for them in the coma. And they came out of the coma. Wow. God is doing some great things. All because of what I had to go through. And if he had to use, they say they say the cliche all the time, your ministry, your misery for, for your ministry. I said, God, if you had to use me for that in order for people to come to this place, mm -hmm. then so be it. Yeah. I just want to be a vessel. So that's how recover was birthed. Wow. I won't stay like this forever. That's wow. a declaration that you don't have to stay in the same spot, but you can go to a greater level. Amen. That yes, is awesome. Now I see, Powerful. I see on your website, mm -hmm. you know, that is James Powell and Remnant. And Remnant. Oh and yes. Remnant. Please tell us, tell the audience who Remnant is, because I, I saw I you live. Make, I want to make. And they are powerful. I want to make this disclaimer because they will kill me if I don't say. Come it. on. James Powell is nothing without Remnant. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's nothing without Remnant. I have the Lord has blessed me with some awesome, awesome singers. I don't call them background singers okay that's my family we that's are right. a family remnant it consists of four awesome people of god uh andre bird my best friend awesome praise and worship leader yes. youth pastor awesome man of god just anointed to just a, an atmosphere changer um candida walker she's a uh, singing hummingbird whatever you give us she'll sing it and you give her the phone book and the girl will sing it um <laughs> uh nibia copeland awesome worship leader and Christian Wallace, we call her the beast of the, the whole group. The girl yeah. just got a voice like water. It just flows. And the Lord has blessed us. And there is an anointing. It's not just us singing. It's not just us, you know. But we minister when we sing. Amen. And people's lives are changed. That's the effectiveness of it. People's lives are changed. I have an awesome band. I have an awesome uh, uh, music director, Glenn Gibson Jr., um, Dominic Wallace. I mean, beast, beast beyond beast. I promise you, uh, Will Stewart, the drummer. Um, just crazy. Um, Noel sing on the bass. Yeah. Super and 